13 ABC meteorologist Ben Cathy got a look inside with the local crews braving the cold as the orders continue flying in. It's a story you'll only see here. The Maumee River is completely frozen over. The shipping channel is 26 and a half feet deep. And this, this is the Sam Lot, a 640 foot front on loader. And to get this into port and into this slip takes a lot of manpower. There's probably uh, maybe a dozen ships laid up in Toledo this winter. The ships may be laid up, but the 65 union workers from Ironhead are still buzzing under the hull. You just feel like an ant, basically, but especially if you have to go underneath it, it's really tough under there. You're almost on your hands and knees. Come up on the other side, buddy. Work on the propellers just began after the ship settled this weekend. We set blocks in the dock to the configuration of the hull and flood the dock with water from the river through this gate that you see behind us. That's just the start of a very complex and very cold puzzle. A little rougher this time of year with the ice and snow, a couple feet of ice out there. Um, usually it's a 12 to 16 hour cycle by the time we flood the dock, remove the gate, bring the vessel in and get it closed and get it dry. It's fun to do. It's pretty complicated and you just do it one step at a time and do it safely. With extra clothes on and man-sized prop blades, each weighing over a ton, Shaking the cold and staying nimble is a challenge. Get in front of a heater once in a while, hand warmers, double layer gloves, lots of layers. Some ice still forms, but the crew formed a seal of the lock. What we have to do is drop our guys in with man lifts and equipment to push the ice out of the way so we can do the work. Last year was too cold for many repairs. Tony LaMantia says his workers may need to move indoors if it gets much worse. A lot of ice, kind of rough conditions down here, and, and uh, the guys soldier on. Ironhead is going to refill this dry dock full of river water in just a couple of weeks, and there's another one coming right behind it. It's a Great Lakes shipping repair season that runs from January 1st to April 1st before the unofficial start of shipping season. I'm meteorologist Ben Cathy, 13ABC Action News.